is your first Alert 5 weather with Alex O'Brien. Welcome back. Happy Saturday. Our Arctic Blast is on the way. Stays at bay for the next afternoon, but then we are in for a couple of very cold days ahead. Well below average. Typically, we're in the low to mid 60s for Colorado Springs and Pueblo, respectively, this time of year. And we're looking at temperatures staying in the 20s and 30s for the first half of next week. So today, lovely conditions, about 10 degrees above average to 70 Colorado Springs, 74 Pueblo, 70s into the plains, again, 60s into many of our higher terrain and mountain valley communities. Then by tomorrow, that's where temperatures really start to drop. Pueblo will see a drop from 74 to 36 on Sunday. Light snow beginning in the morning, but really picking up into the overnight where our winter storm watch goes into effect, potentially being upgraded to a winter storm warning. Saturday in Colorado Springs, 70 followed by 32 Sunday and a better chance of seeing snow earlier in El Paso County. So tonight dropping to the 20s and 30s and our cold front will be here. It will be a little breezy as well as the front moves through overnight. Tomorrow not going to warm up by much at all. Maybe a degree or two. Uh, we're expecting to stay cloudy and snowy by Sunday evening. So here's our winter storm watch in place for much of central Colorado all along the front range and into the central mountains and mostly east of the continental divide. For us here in southern Colorado, Pueblo and El Paso counties under this winter storm watch through Huerfano County. Trinidad, you're not under this, so this is not your storm this time. You could see a few inches, not as much as last time. Then our mountains, that's where we see the winter storm watches continue further west. Let's time things out. Saturday is lovely. By Sunday morning, the cold front has arrived. We'll see the increase in cloud cover staying cold. We could see a mix of some freezing drizzle and very light snow Sunday morning, but the bulk of our snowfall remains until Sunday night. Here's 8 a.m. on Monday, a tricky Monday morning commute for us with heavy snowfall limiting visibility at times. The system progresses southeast as it weakens through Monday evening. Fast forward to Tuesday morning, still some light snow flurries with our next batch of energy coming our way. And we are likely to see snowfall through Wednesday afternoon from this next system, potentially adding on another round of similar snow totals about two days in a row. So let's look just Sunday into Monday. This will cover the current winter storm watch. Four to seven Colorado Springs up to six to nine in Monument. Pueblo three to five inches from Sunday into Monday and gradually tapering off as you head south and southeast. Some of our mountain communities could see some. Uh, West Cliff Rye and the Wet Mountains getting up to a foot in some spots. Canyon City 4-7, Woodland Park 5-2-8. It really is a Pikes Peak region that will see the highest snowfall totals besides the Wet Mountains. So let's zoom in here on Colorado Springs. Again, higher totals for Air Force County, Briargate 5-7. Three to five areas downtown and east of town and higher accumulations as you get to Monument Hill and towards Woodland Park, Cripple Creek area. So do prepare for another snowstorm potentially with the same or slightly above the snow totals expected from the first round. That comes Tuesday into Wednesday and temperatures stay in the 20s for several days in Colorado Springs. For Pueblo, we'll be in the 20s or 30s Sunday all the way through Wednesday. Notice Thursday, that's Halloween. Stuck in the 40s through the afternoon, still dropping well below freezing overnight. We'll be dropping to the 30s tonight, then 20s and teens for Canyon City in the overnight hours, staying in the low 30s. The next several days, Woodland Park, frigid temperatures and pretty heavy snowfall both Monday and Tuesday. Yeah, so probably a good idea if you haven't already to remember to look at those traction laws that the state has. Mm -hmm. You do have to head into the high country. Uh, don't get in trouble, essentially. Just fuel up on gas, on groceries, whatever you need for the week ahead today because you really won't want to go out any yeah. other day. And hopefully those trick-or-treaters have the costume adaptations <laughs> yes. they need to stay warm. Of course, Halloween coming up right around mm -hmm. the corner. That's always the rule, right? You have to yeah. do your costume around your coat. Yeah, got to be ready.